Welcome to Make the Move Financial Solutions where we teach you about credit, how to use credit, and most of all, how to fix credit. Stay tuned. Before we get into how to fix your credit score within 60 days or less, we need to know the three main credit bureaus, and that's TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax. These three credit bureaus keep our personal information and it shows our credit history based on our credit score. This will allow financial institutions to see our information and to make a decision if we can be approved with them or not. It's really important to understand that you have to look at your credit report more than your bank account. I know it sounds crazy, but it's important to know that these three credit bureaus, they make mistakes. And sometimes the financial institutions make mistakes. So you wanna be on top of your information and make sure everything is current. What's on your credit report? The first thing you will see on your credit report is your personal information, your name, your address, your previous address, and your employer. Make sure everything is correct, because if not, this could be a situation where your name could be the same as someone else, or your address could be the same as someone else. So you want to make sure that everything is current. If you have a middle initial in your name and you use it all the time and they don't have it on there, that needs to be changed. If you don't have a middle initial in your name and it's on the credit report, that needs to be changed. And you can fix this by disputing with all three credit bureaus. The next thing that you will see on your credit report are inquiries. What are inquiries? This is when you allow the financial institution to do a hard pull on your credit report so they can see your credit score. Every time they do a hard pull on your credit report, it becomes an inquiry on your credit report and it will stay on there for two years. Let's make sure we don't run our credit so much because too many inquiries will discourage financial institutions to work with you. Now, if you have inquiries on your credit report that you're not sure about or you know for sure that you did not give the financial institution permission to run your credit, you need to dispute it with all three credit bureaus. And you can use a dispute letter and you can do this within 30 days and it should be taken off under the Fair Credit Reporting Act law. It must be deleted. The next thing that you will see on your credit report are trade lines. Trade lines could be unsecured, secure loans that you've been making payments on and it will show a two-year history on these payments. It's really important to understand that making your payments on time will show the financial institution that you are responsible, taking a loan from them and paying them back. When you have a 30-day late or a 60-day late or a 90-day late or the account closed, now the financial institution they're, they're going to feel uncomfortable giving you money. So you have to make sure you make your payments on time. The last thing that you will see on your credit report are collections. This is something you don't want to have on your credit report because this will discourage the financial institution to lend to you. But you can have these items removed under the Fair Credit Reporting Act law and under the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. You can have these items removed because the debt collector will need to validate who they are. Why is that? Because your previous creditor probably sold your name illegally to the debt collector. You want to learn more about that? Go to my previous video, which I have below, and learn why you should not pay a debt collector. But I had two repossessions in a collection status. And under these laws, I was able to send them a validation letter. And guess what? They could not validate 
who they were. They could not validate the information that I requested and they had to delete it immediately. And because of that, it increased my score by 85 points. Man, it was a hassle because it took 90 days, but it was worth it because I reaped the benefits at the end. Now you know what's on your credit report. Now let's learn how to increase our credit within 60 days or less. The first way is to be added as a authorized user on another authorized user account. It's easy to do and it's free. I did it. I jumped on my wife's credit card. It was a store card from Nordstrom and increased my credit by 50 points. Now let's imagine if your mother, father, brother or sister, they have credit cards and you know for sure they've been making their payments on time. You can ask them to put you on as an authorized user. They don't have to give you a physical credit card. All they need to do is just keep your name as an authorized user. So every time they spend, it will show good activity. And every time they pay, they're making their payments on time. This is going to increase your score significantly. And I promise you, you will reap the benefits. The next way to increase your score within 60 days or less is by paying for a delete. Paying for a delete with a creditor will take care of your balance and it will be deleted off your credit report. So let's say you've been behind on payments and is about to go to collections and you happen to have some monies, you can negotiate the balance and request for them to be deleted, to have it deleted off your credit report. By doing this, you will see an increase with your credit score. Another way to increase your score within 60 days or less is by using secured or unsecured loans. This is a great way to increase your score in a significant way. How did I get started? I got started with a secure credit card with Credit One. They only gave me a $500 credit limit. That was fine because I wasn't going to use it as income. I'm going to use it to increase my credit. How did I do it? I only used 10% of the 500 and it increased my score by 45 points. Another way, you can get a secure loan. Like with Navy Federal, they have a pledge loan where you can pledge from $250 up to $2,000 and they will approve you for whatever amount that you pledge. And guess what? They're going to return the money back to you so you can pay down the loan 70 to 80 percent. And now it will increase your score by 30 to 40 points. It's easy. You have to do this and you will see an increase within 60 to 30 days. The last way you can increase your score within 60 days or less is by establishing your business credit and start applying for business credit cards. Business credit cards will give you a larger credit line increase and also it will allow your personal credit cards a rest and you can start transferring some of your expenses over to your business credit cards because sometimes with business credit cards it is not applied to the credit bureaus. It's applied to the Dunn and Bradstreet module. So it's a great way to allow your personal credit a rest to decrease the credit utilization, which will increase your credit score. So if you like what you heard and you want to hear some more, smash that like button for me and subscribe to my channel. Be blessed. <music>